next question we took from the course and this was a question by simon or simon uh, thanks again simon um he asked how do i drill down and link maps this question is more related to uh Kostelans, the tool uh we use you're the founder of um uh, uh, and we show in the course so people might be interesting to sort of create a hierarchy of maps we get that question a lot like how do you or if you have multiple journeys or uh journeys that sort of are similar but different mm -hmm. a, a little mm -hmm. bit how do you link them together and like sort of create a journey map mm. ecosystem so mm. once you're ready to go beyond a single map and want to do two three four five six maps then mm. then it becomes interesting how do you actually link them together mm. that's what this mm. question is about and i think you're going to show us right daniel yeah yeah i'm sharing my screen now all right perfect yeah um this is an example uh, map in in Castellans. it's made on one of our templates it's a lot of great templates there and this is a level two map uh, about food ordering mm -hmm. and one step here is uh, explore different options on the level two and what we did here was uh, just to add a a link to a more detailed map so here we just added the the url to the the more detailed map and by clicking that you will come to this detailed map that we first have created and that just just grab the url and put in the other map and uh, here we have uh, the detailed explanation of this so this is a level three map because let's say this was something that we were going to to develop and go into is it loading uh, because uh, yeah there it yeah is. it's yeah, loading okay. it's super okay. slow because yeah. i'm streaming at the same time <laughs> but it's coming <laughs> yeah there it is so this those are exploring different options and here we have a more detailed map uh, and each card has their url so we have taken the card in the level two map and just put the 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 that url here so if i click this I will go back and now it's have to be loading again. I will go back to the other map uh, and I will see that card. So it's super easy to go between uh, maps and cards. So here I, here I get that card, which was uh, done in a level three map. Can you, can you, um, I don't know if you can do that quickly, but open them like inside uh, uh, two browser tabs and then switch between them, like so that we, yeah, you see it here. Uh, that's the, the way to work in the. Uh, now I showed how you how you go between them if you, if you so you don't have to yeah. go out in the map list and find them. But here I have the uh, the, the big level map. two the, map, and yeah, level here two I map. have the level three map. So this yeah, is how you yeah. practically work with it. Uh, but for someone that 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 goes into to this one that you invite yes yes the, it's they have to be able to find this by clicking here but then they will have it of course in different tabs because mm. that's the way to work with it and this is a way to make sure that you don't over clutter your level two maps mm. because the level two maps are so important for decisions uh, getting budget uh, explaining things uh, getting stakeholders on board and level three maps are usually very important to be able to actually do something in this explore different option problem that we have to de develop. Make, make, makes sense. So maybe you should have reframed this question and, uh, and wrote it down. Like, how do I create a map ecosystem? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, exactly. But, but the trick here is that you can link, uh, create links to maps and, uh, and then have them have different detail level maps in in separate they're, they're, they're separate i don't know thing yeah 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 separate maps because maybe it's here about uh, rating then we could do a level four about how how do i go about for understanding ratings and then we go even deeper yeah yeah here. yeah yeah uh, and because it's 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 so easy that customer journeys service blueprints becomes like hairy monsters with 250 cards and 
Well, people say, of course, we get a good overview, but what overview do you get with and 250 nobody, cards? And, and the problem is that really quickly, nobody actually starts using them because they lose their practical application. I think that's that's mm. what people... Um, that's one of the... We're drifting off a little bit in this question, but that's a big mistake. I see people making that they rather go for completeness and being accurate in a map instead of being pragmatic. I... I uh, I think I being pragmatic yeah, with journey totally mapping agree. is like your number one priority and uh, not being complete, not being accurate, uh, using it as a tool. Mm. Great. So don't make a map with 250 cards. That's not smart. Please promise <laughs> not to do that. <laughs> All right. Um, 